Now, just in case you don't know, the Advertising Standards Authority are basically a regulator of advertising across all media. So basically what their job is, is to make sure the consumer isn't being misled, isn't being lied to, and isn't being duped out of their money. Now, the ASA have now started to investigate No Man's Sky for misleading Steam users. Now, the Eurogamer article, which I'll link down below, it reports that the, the ASA is currently investigating developer Hello Games as well as Valve over the way No Man's Sky was advertised on Steam. Now, the investigation concerns its Steam store page, with some users writing in to complain that they feel the videos and images are misleading and don't present don't actually represent the game in an accurate light which to be fair if you still look at the store page it still does misrepresent the actual game now large-scale space combat size of the creatures and behavior of animals ships and sentinels are just some of the things people have claimed that are different comparing the promo material to the actual final release now, at the moment, on Steam, only 34% of reviews for No Man's Sky are positive, and that's out of over 70,000. Now, No Man's Sky has been heavily criticised since launch for failing to deliver key features, to the point where even Sony's Shihue Yoshida actually distanced Sony from the actual game itself. And this is what Yoshida had to say about it. And this was earlier this month. I understand some of the criticisms, especially Sean Murray is getting, because he sounded like he was promising more features in the game from day one. It wasn't great a great PR strategy because he didn't have a PR person helping him, and in the end, he is an indie developer. But he says their plan is to continue to develop No Man's Sky's features and such, and I'm looking forward to continue to play the game. Now, as you know, No Man's Sky is out on PC and PlayStation 4, and a lot of people were unhappy once the game was released because especially when Sean Murray said that there was, even though it was really going to happen, there was going to be some multiplayer in the game. And it turns out there was actually none at all. He did mislead in a lot of things. And to be fair, if Hello Games are being investigated and Valve, I don't understand why Sony are not being investigated. If anything, they bumped up the cash to market the game for Hello Games. So if anything, they should be investigated as well. But I'm actually glad that this is happening. Because at the end of the day, when you spend your money on a product, you got to make sure that product that you purchase is what is being advertised as. I've seen many supermarkets advertising on TV and the ASA have said, look, no, get rid of the advert. That's not true. So I'm glad they're actually looking into gaming now because it means they are really there to protect the consumer. And I can see something happening from this because Hello Games did mislead consumers with No Man's Sky. And there's so much evidence there. I can see something happening with this. But what do you guys think in the comments below? Because hopefully this will be a lesson to any game developers out there or any publishers that, look, don't lie about your game, otherwise you'll get found out quick. But this is Jamesy Boy logging off. You guys take care.